that man over there's got his wife chained to a pile of sunbeds. Doesn't surprise me. They're well known for it. What do you mean? Perverts. She'll be naked hanging upside down from the pool bar come five o'clock. Dear God. I tell him to stop, but he will not listen. Ooh. Look. You can't do this here. Look, whatever you do in the privacy of your own room is nobody's business but your own, but you can't do this here. But that's just it. We don't have a room, thanks to you reneging on your word. If this is a protest, then why are you both not chained to the sunbeds? We didn't have quite enough chain. Anyway, somebody has to be able to nip to the shops for water and such like. I'm afraid personal food and drink cannot be consumed on the premises. Fine, then you've just turned a peaceful demonstration into a hunger strike. For God's sake! <laughs> Jacqueline, I'm just going to pop up to the Mad Monk for a spot of brunch. Will you be OK? Oh, yeah. All right, stop it. Mateo, give Mr and Mrs Stewart room 212. Come on. What's wrong with you? I've just said you could have a room. Mr Stewart, kindly unchain your wife from my sunbeds. I can't. What do you mean, you can't? I'm afraid I didn't expect you to cave in so easily. And I... I swallowed the key. Judith, what? Why did you do this, you crazy man? What is wrong with you people? I'll be back in about an hour. I do believe the Mad Monk do a very acceptable veg curry. Fingers crossed. Are you okay? Oh, yes. That man over there's got his wife chained to a pile of sunbeds. Doesn't surprise me. They're well known for it. What do you mean? Perverts. She'll be naked hanging upside down from the pool bar come five o'clock. Dear God. We met them upstairs. They've certainly seen the type. Apparently, last year, one of them was found roaming the streets at midday, dressed as a naughty nurse in stockings and suspenders. That's not appropriate. Not during the day. No. And it wasn't the one chained to the sunbeds, either. Oh. <sighs> you haven't seen my husband or my son at all, have you? Eh? No beds. Time for another drink, I think. No, I better get the school back to my nana. She's gonna go on mental. No, wait a minute. Didn't I just batter the price down to 35 euros for the week for this thing? Batter the price. You nearly battered the block. Oh, a bit of gentle persuasion never hurts. And the false ID that I gave him means you could sell it at the end of the week. Win-win! Come on, bruv. You're round.